Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome to the Heal Healer Tarot. My name is Angel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective conscious one unique soul at a time. I help unique souls self-actualize by raising their vibration. This channel is dedicated to spiritual enlightenment, self-actualization, and aligning to meaning and purpose in life. So if that is something that you are interested in, then you are in the perfect place at the perfect time for the perfect reason. All we have is the now, so whenever you come across this reading, it is indeed the perfect time for you. However, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide us like a roadmap towards your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. This is a general collective energy read for the soul sign of Libra. I do set the intention that this reading may resonate with you wherever you may find Libra placements in your chart. If you do not know your chart and your chart placements, you can get a free copy of your birth chart over at my website. The information for that is listed in the description box below. And for a limited time, if you subscribe and become a part of the soul joiner family, you can also receive a free astrology report as well. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell. I would love to have you as a part of the soul joiner family. So this is a choice between two paths reading for the new moon and Aquarian energy. Let's go ahead and talk about the astrological messages and then we'll jump right into your reading. Aquarius new moon is at one degrees. It talks about the energy of I love a turning point and a brand new beginning. What stays and what goes in your life as you evolve emotionally, mentally, spiritually and materially personal and professional expansion with a focus on community, joint ventures, and collaborative efforts. Coming together with like minds, finding your new home and soul tribe, love, acceptance, and belonging, stepping into purpose, values, and value systems. This energy is all about reevaluating relationships, reviewing and rethinking finances, sources of income, income streams, financial stability, and your spending habits. How can you support others and be of service? Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Keep your eyes open for opportunities. Take calculated risks. Put yourself out there and network with others. The new moon intentions for Aquarius at one degrees talks about focus on love, what you love, and loving relationships. So let's go ahead and see what the general message is for the beautiful soul sign of Libra. What does Libra need to know, Spirit, for their highest vibrational good? Messages for Libra, New Moon and Aquarius energy. What does Libra need to know for their highest vibrational good? And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. I trust that this message finds you in sound mind, body, and spirit, and that you are well in all ways. Your general overall energy, boundaries, Libra. I love it having some strong and firm boundaries. So let's go ahead and look and see what this energy is. A choice between two paths for the beautiful soul sign of Libra. What does Libra need to know, spirit? For their highest vibrational good. The heart chakra energy just went out. A choice between two paths for the soul sign of Libra. What does Libra need to know? For their highest vibrational good. New moon and Aquarius energy for Libra spirit. What does Libra need to know? For their highest vibrational good, Libra. Libra energy. New moon and Aquarius energy for Libra. Thank you, spirit. I am so grateful. All right, beautiful souls. Let's see. What do we have here? Why are we here, beautiful soul? Ooh, the lovers. So you could be definitely be setting boundaries when it comes to love and loving relationships here. You have the energy of the lovers. So this is all about a divine mate, a divine counterpart, a twin flame, or a soulmate relationship. This could also be talking about you and the connection with your higher self, you connecting with source energy, you being that vessel of love through the energy of connection. It is also talking about the energy of the masculine and the feminine coming together. This could be your own personal Kundalini energy 
energy, masculine, feminine, coming together, the yin and the yang. But we're all about love in this relationship, and I'm not surprised you are, Libra. You rule relationships and love. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with you when it comes to the choices between two paths. All right, beautiful souls. So when we look at the energy of your left hand path, you have the energy to mastery. This is all about choosing your higher self, continuing to evolve spiritually. And then you have the energy of a connection, right? A past life, a soulmate connection on the energy of the right hand path. So let's take a look and see how this energy is evolving. What is the result of the left hand path energy? Mm, takes you into the energy of fulfillment. It brings you into the energy of your fullest, highest potential. The nine of pentacles energy. Nine is the highest vibration in which one individual can ascend. It is the energy of wholeness. It's fulfillment. It is self-actualizing energy. So this path of mastery leaves you to full self-actualization, which puts you in your purpose. And we all know purpose leads to prosperity. So let's look and see what is the culminating energy or the results for the right hand path. You have the energy of death. Ooh, okay. I'm looking at this energy of the Ten of Swords as death, right? Something has definitely ended. And that's the reason why you have a reunion energy coming in here. Something has already ended, beautiful souls. And even though it can be in your energetic field on the energy of the right hand path as like bringing it back together because of the six of cups energy or that is an energy of a hope or a wish or a dream but one of the other things that the six of cups energy talks about is leaving the past in the past and learning from those lessons right six energy learning from those lessons and the choices that you made in order to make better choices because there was some form of deception some form of hardship some form of loss here that you experienced when it came to this past life or soulmate connection or relationship so let's take a look and see what is the underpin here. Mm, the energy of patience. You could have felt as if though you put everything in all that you had into this relationship. You could have felt as if though this was a waste of your time, a waste of your energy, a waste of your efforts. You could feel as if though you did not get out of a relationship what you wanted to get out of a relationship. But one of the things that I know for certain and for sure is whatever you put energy into, it will come out in some way, shape or form. It may not come out in the avenue or the area in which you expected it to, but you will receive that karmic balance through the universe. And so the seven of pentacles energy is just telling you to reevaluate what you put your time energy and attention into really focus on the things that are helping you to ascend and grow into your fulfillment and into mastery rather that is focusing on yourself loving yourself nurturing yourself fulfilling yourself building yourself up and really following that spiritual path let's see what is the energy here that talks about the current path that you're on and potential outcome Mm, nine of cups energy here so this energy is really saying that you're gonna have the wish fulfillment you're gonna have the success or the happiness or the love that you desire rather you give it to yourself and you fill it up in your own cup i'm i'm not really sure about rather or not you go through this time experience with the past here because you've already invested and wasted a tremendous amount of time in that past energy and you didn't get what you expected or what you wanted to get out of it what you did get out of it was a lot of heartbreak a lot of sorrow a lot of deception you got a lot of the energy of betrayal here but not the energy of happiness and joy and love and what it was that you may have wanted out of that relationship and that's the reason why you're in this energy of rethinking it reevaluating it but having this choice between the these two different paths I'm really feeling like this is a choice between you're choosing yourself or choosing some form of connection however that resonates for you so let's take a look at this energy and let's see what is going to be the outcome of taking the left hand path there will be a fight right this is it, things will move you're going to learn something here you're going to learn through this experience with the knight of swords it's going to be difficult in some way. I don't know why I'm getting like difficult energy, conflicting energy. There's going to be a fight here for some reason. Who is this fight with? I'm not sure. We may have to pull some clarifying energy on here, but there's going to be a fight here. You're going to have to fight to overcome something. It could be fight to overcome the deep commotion, emotional connection or tie that you have with someone. But this is an energy of learning. What is it an energy of learning through? It's learning through experience. It's a difficult experience. You see these two spiritual, they're fighting here in the spiritual realm. 
there's something here about there's conflict between you and an opposing energy. This is also an energy of eight, which talks about what needs to change, what's changing, how things are changing. There's could be an energy that's saying you're no longer fighting with yourself. You're no longer fighting your emotions. You're no longer fighting a connection. For some reason, I'm feeling an energy of surrender and release here because of the backstabbing and the betrayal and all of the hardship that you've gone through in the past. You want something different, right? You want something to be more in alignment, something that's going to be more real, more tangible, more fulfilling for you in your life. Let's look and see what is the potential result of the right hand path. There's some form of breakthrough here. Some form of karmic balance is taking place here. Whatever wrongs are definitely being rewritten. The universe has come in on your behalf and is making wrong, making right wrongs that have been done against you. It goes back to exactly what I was saying. If you feel as if though you wasted your time and energy or you put way more time and energy into a situation than you really wanted to, don't think that it was a waste of time and energy. You will be rewarded that. Rather, the universe is gifting you a love as you choose your higher self, the universe is bringing you in that equally yoked and equally matched partner. So just be open to receiving here and learning from the past mistakes, learning from the past experience and just allowing that to shape you. What it's allowed you to do is allowed you to be able to put up the appropriate boundaries, to know your value, to know your worth, to know who you truly are with this pre empress energy. This is an energy of knowing your magnificence and not allowing anyone else to ever again take advantage of you in ways that they may have taken advantage of in the past because you've already learned those lessons through the experience. So let's go ahead and see what is this energy of what is being created here? What is your thought form? Yeah, you don't trust this energy. You know, you're, you're, you've realized that you cannot trust this energy. There have been too much lies, too much deceit, too much backstabbing, too much um, energy of confusion or trickery or just, you know, lying, cheating, stealing, whatever it is. You've realized that you cannot trust this energy. These are two sevens here and sevens talks about your path. These are choices that you have to make along your path. Are you going to choose the higher self or are you going to choose this left right hand path here, which is only bringing you more of the same, more trickery, more deception, more conflict, more discord and also more pain is how this energy is coming through. So let's look and see what is the karmic balance here and what is the lesson to be learned? Yeah, learning from judgment having that higher awakening, realizing something for the truth of what it is, no longer allowing yourself to be fooled in rose colored glasses, knowing that you will truly get what you deserve. The universe is going to bless you in kind. When you take the energy of the 20 and the nine, you have the energy of 29, which breaks down to another 11. Things will balance themselves out. Things will be reciprocate and equal in some way, shape or form. The universe will see to it that there is karmic balance that has taken place here. And that's what the judgment energy is. The divine is coming in to intervene to make sure that you get what it is that you deserve. So let's go ahead and look and see what is the conclusion and the realization about taking this left hand path. Look at that. It puts you from pre empress to empress energy. Once you learn what it is that you're meant to learn, beautiful soul then you will move into the Empress energy, full abundance, full creativity, full emotional, um, emotional, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Emotional intelligence. You'll move into the energy of full creativity and abundance and prosperity and growth. It's an energy of humbleness, but it's also an energy of compassion. It is empath or empress energy. So you're really going to open up to the fruit of who you truly are and you'll be able to cre create and manifest and just do all of the wonderful things that you want to do. Your wishes will be fulfilled and you will have that higher level of awareness and enlightenment. So let's look and see what is the result and the conclusion for the energy of the left hand path. Ooh, there you go. Even the left hand path is saying that no matter what is going on over here, moving away from the conflict, moving away from the discord, moving away from the energy of the betrayal is how you balance out this energy. Whoever or whatever has been deceptive or wronged against you, the universe is coming in to bring what? Balance, restoring balance and harmony. It's like the universe, your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, they're all here to help guide you away from this deception, away from this trickery and really bring you into the wholeness of fulfillment of your own. So let's look and see 
What is going on with this energy here? What is the root? High Priestess energy. Follow your intuition. The root energy says you already know what it is that you seek. You already know what it is that you seek, beautiful soul. And what you're seeking is a destiny and a path of fulfillment, right? You're seeking the fullest realization of who you truly are. You're seeking abundance and prosperity and positive, loving, connected relationships, things that are meshed together and meant to be. This was a soul lesson and a karmic lesson that you had to go through in order to become wiser, in order to become the master. All of these experiences were brought into your life to bring you the knowledge, right? Wisdom through experience that you needed in order to perhaps become that teacher, that guide, or that guru. So let's look and see what is your fate and your ultimate culminating energy here. There's the energy of the Four of Cups. So although this is bittersweet, I'm almost getting the energy of bittersweet. And I can't remember which deck it's in. Rather, it's in the um, Messenger Oracle deck or rather it's in the Wisdom Oracle deck here. But there's a card that talks about bittersweet. Something is bittersweet. You know, maybe the love that you had for this person, past life soulmate relationship was genuine. It was true. It was authentic. It did bring you a lot of sorrow, conflict, pain, wasted of time, energy, lots of trickery. But it taught you so many valuable lessons because you go from the seven to the nine in the Nine of Cups, as well as the Nine of Pentacles energy. So it's elevated you to your highest potential. And it's also taught you how to put up the appropriate boundaries in your life and to only allow in what it is that you deserve. It's also brought you into this Empress energy and it's bringing you into this energy of self-mastery. So when you make the choice to choose yourself, beautiful soul, it is going to bring you into that energy of self-mastery. So let's see, what do we have at the bottom of the deck here? Oh, yes, this is messages that are coming directly from spirit. Spirit has helped to guide you to illuminate the path for you moving forward. It's meant to help you to shift and change your reality. You're elevating and moving to a higher level of consciousness, a higher level of awareness. And also this is an energy of freedom, freedom of expression, freedom and release. This is an energy of being in the energy flow, being in that what I like to call the zip stream where you're just flowing and moving and everything is coming together and everything is coming towards you. You're attracting in very positive, very abundant very um, creative energy as well. This is all energy that you'll be able to use to help yourself to continue to evolve. But this energy of the Four of Cups is really wanting you to turn in, right? That is the road to the higher self is to go inward and not outward. So the divine wants you to choose yourself and to move upward and onward towards your fullest self-actualization and your highest potential. If you choose the alternative path, beautiful soul, it's kind of like going backwards, you know, um, back seas and redos and all of those types of things. Just know that your intuition is already helping to guide you away from that. And there's wasted time, energy and effort. And there's also still an energy of trickery here because even along this right hand path, the universe, your angels, your spirit guides are still trying to guide you away from whatever this deceptive energy is in order to restore karmic harmony and balance. And you know how Libras are. We need to have, I am a Libra, I have like four Libra placements in my chart. You have to have that karmic balance. And it all is established with the energy of you setting the appropriate boundaries, beautiful soul. So let's go ahead and look and see what this boundary energy what additional messages does this boundary energy have for the beautiful soul sign of Libra? It's time to look at both the energetic and physical boundaries that you have in place. Take a look at your relationships, environment, work, spiritual community, and any other areas where you have an energy exchange or relationship. Do you feel comfortable in these spaces and relationships? Every day you make a choice on how people treat you through what you will accept or reject as being appropriate. This is a call to take responsibility and know that you can change things for the better, starting right now. Saying no can be an act of self-love and is often extremely brave. Don't be afraid to put yourself first before you do things for others. 
for other people or expand your energy outward. You may feel as though your boundaries are being tested at the moment. This is completely normal, especially if you have recently changed the dynamic of a relationship through your own self-care. Know that it will get smoother and easier the more you are in your power. Assert your right to kindly say no. Your affirmation, beautiful Libra, I protect and assert my boundaries in a healthy way today. Your journaling prompt and personal reflection. Where do I feel stressed in my relationships? How can I put myself first more? Let's go ahead and get you one more additional message of advice. Message of advice, Spirit, for the beautiful soul sign of Libra. Message of advice from the wisdom of the Tao. I apologize for Mello in the background. He wants to come in here in the reading room and we're not letting Mello in the reading room because Mello likes to bump the cards, bite the cards, bump the camera. For some reason, when he gets in here, he wants to play. So I apologize. He's whimpering outside the door there because he would rather be in here with us. Beautiful soul sign of Libra spirit. What is the message of advice for Libra? Intuitively, you know, Spirit, I mean, uh, Libra, intuitively, you know what the best decision is for you. Although you may have this energy here, you know, for a little while as you heal and as you go through whatever you need to go through to get your power back, you will move out of that energy. You will move into an energy that is really talking about being fulfilled. So it's all about making that right judgment call that's going to bring you back into balance. Even though this is the Four of Cups, this is an energy that talks about emotional balance. It talks about that emotional intelligence and it's you coming into your own, filling your own cup, beautiful soul. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. Final messages of advice for Libra. All right, Libra. Mountain. This is the energy of solitude. You cannot make it up and an energy vibration of eight. The solitude from the Northeast indicates a fresh new cycle. Meditate and reflect upon your accomplishments and lessons learned. Engage in emotional and physical cleansing to elicit new ideas. Make the best of your timing. End of winter and beginning of spring. That has been your messages of advice, beautiful Libra. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. It has been an honor. And I am truly grateful. If you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that like button. Share this video with those that you believe could benefit from the messages and subscribe. Become a part of the Soul Joiner family where we learn, grow, and expand together. Working to raise the collective conscious one unique soul at a time. And that unique soul is you. Until our soul paths cross again, Soul Joiners, I am wishing you love, peace, blessings, happiness, and abundance be on to you. Have a blessed and abundant day. Namaste.